I just wanted to shoot a quick video of the various success and failure modes of bootstrapping the Tandy portable disk drive. I've got here a TPDD Tandy portable disk drive. This is version 1. And it's connected to my model 100 right here. I have taken the shortcut so far of already having the initial program loader in there. Normally this is what you would type in out of the manual. And if I go into basic here, load IPL, you can see this is what it looks like. And the trick is just typing in this long series of digits, it's the S record to send over to the machine. So what we're gonna do here, this switch right here is, the bootstrapping switch is currently set to off, so we're not in bootstrapping mode. So this will fail, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this copy of the utility disk, load it into the PDD, turn it on. There's no power LED, but you will see a little access light here. So I'm going to come down here and start the IPL, and we get nothing. It's waiting for the drive to send back data, but the drive's not going to because it's not in bootstrap mode. So this is what happens when you forget to set the dip switches. I'll reset the Model 100 now. Now we can turn the drive off, and we'll come down here, set all the switches to on. This will put it into bootstrapping mode. But we're gonna forget to put our disk in, right? The code you want to bootstrap is located on the utility disk. You need a good copy of the utility disk. So I'll turn the drive on in bootstrapping mode. Come over here to the IPL. Start that. I'm going to run it again. Right. So you can't really see, but this light here is flashing, indicating that it's trying to run the bootstrap procedure, but it's not able to because... Of course, we haven't inserted the disk. So, we'll power that off. Reset the Model 100. Now, with the switches in bootstrapping mode, we're going to put, actually, we're going to put a formatted, but not correct, utility disk into the drive. Turn that on. Come down here on the IPL again. I get this error sometimes. I'm not exactly sure what the deal is. I think maybe the drive isn't ready. But if you just run the initial program loader again, it usually does its thing. So access lights on, we're seeking, but it's unable to find the program that it needs to send back. Right? So we don't get that error code like we got before with the flashing um, low power light. But again, the system's just locked up because there's nothing it can do. The file it needs is not on the disk. So once again, We'll reset that. All right, so now we're getting the error. It's finally given up trying to find the file. Now, we're in bootstrapping mode. We put the correct disk in. Turn the drive on. Come down here. Run the initial program loader one more time. Again, we get that error. Let me make it so you can see the, the LEDs here. Run the IPL one more time. All right, now it's seeking, and we have activity on the screen. So it's telling you the initial program loader is running. Wait a minute, now it's loading the file manager. And we're done pretty quickly. We have floppy.co. So this is what we need to access the PDD. We'll come down here into basic, just like any, like loading any machine language program. We're gonna run load m floppy.co. And it's going to tell us this number right here, 59400. Clear, 0, 59400. 400. Back to the menu. So that gives us the high memory space to run a machine language executable. So now we'll hit floppy.co and it will load. And we can hit F1. And we get that beep telling us the drive is not ready. That's because the drive is still in bootstrap mode. You need to turn the drive off, come back to these switches here, uh, flip them all again to off. You can see it says off down here on the bottom of the actual plastic dip switch package. All right, turn the drive on again, 
not in bootstrapping mode. And then hit F1, drive access light, and now we have a directory of fi files on the disk. If we want to bring one of them back into RAM, we can hit any key, load, press F2. Um, oh, I for forgot the name of the file. File not found. Files. We're going to bring in, say, diskgo.ba. So we will have to load diskgo.ba. And we just hit enter to keep the same name in RAM. Okay. Hit F8, go back to the menu, and there we are. So that's a quick demo of the bootstrapping usage of the Tandy Portable Disk Drive using the floppy.co utility disk.